Hi everyone, this is Jay Singh from Technic Solutions. In this video, we will look at the SCCM lab setup. This video is part of SCCM current branch full guide video series. So link is given in the description. Make sure you check out other videos of this video series. In the previous video, we discussed about the software requirements for SCCM current branch. So now let's talk about lab setup. So you need two Windows Server 2016 virtual machines. I will be using Hyper-V, so you can use any other available hypervisor. Alright, so to check out all the functionality and testing, we will need one Windows 10 virtual machine. It can be enterprise, education or professional. And uh, you can download the ISO file of Windows 10 from the given link in the description as I missed out this ISO file in my last video where we talked about software requirements. Alright, so first Windows Server 2016 virtual machine, I will call it Technex-DC01. It will have the following roles and features installed. So Active Directory Domain Services so that we can raise it to a domain controller. DHCP server to give out IP addresses. DNS server so it can resolve IP addresses to actually the host names or any other name uh, internally. And we will use internal virtual switch for internal communication so to make a network. And the IP address range is going to be 10.0.0.0 forward slash 24 and this actual server will get 10.0.0.2 all right so we will raise it as a domain controller as i mentioned earlier so name is going to be technex.local and um, then later on we're going to extend active directory schema on this so that our sccm server can read write back to active directory okay so these are the main roles however we will install something else if needed on the go all right so the second Windows uh, server, the virtual machine is going to be member server, so which means domain joint machine. And the name will be technex-sco1. We will install SQL server 2016 service pack 2, ADK1803, IAS server role, bits and uh, RDC, WDS, WSUS, SCCM of course, and other prerequisite. And third virtual machine is uh, Windows 10 PC and uh, there's nothing special in that. Windows 10 can be pro, education or enterprise. Okay, with the given link, if you download, you get Windows, different Windows versions, but you have to select Windows 10 professional. Okay, so now let's talk about hardware specification of the host machine where we, where we will install all these virtual machines. So my host machine has Windows 10 professional. RAM is 16 gig, storage is uh, 240 gig. Um, I think it's it's less, but it will do the job for us. And um, CPU i5 7500. And um, Technex-DCO1, it's going to be our domain controller. And it has RAM 2 gig, Will storage will be 40 gig. I think it's more than enough for it. And Technex-SCO1 will have RAM 3 gig and storage 140 gig. So with the RAM, I think 3 gig will do the job. We might have to bump it up a little bit, but not much, maybe 4 gig maximum. And uh, it will run fine because I have SSD. The performance is going to be okay because I have already tested in one of the SSDs that I had earlier and uh, it was the performance was all good with 3 gig RAM. And the PC01 is going to be 2 gig RAM and storage 25 GB. Okay, so let's have a quick overview what we have talked about. We have host machine here. It is going to have 10.0.0.1 forward slash 24 internal virtual switch. And uh, this host machine will have three virtual machines. DC01, uh, SC01 and PC-01. So Technex-DC01 will have internal virtual switch as well and IP address is going to be 10.0.0.0.3 forward slash 24 and it is going to be a domain controller. Our SCCM machine is Technex-SC01 Windows Server 2016 will have internal virtual switch as well with 10.0.0.3 forward slash 24 and it is going to be domain joined with our domain controller. And uh, our Windows 10 computer We'll have Windows 10 Professional, Internal Virtual Switch 10.0.0.50 and uh, I'm going to change it later on to DHCP Server and it is going to be a domain joined as well with our Technex-DC01 domain controller. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you feel like it was informative for you and um, subscribe to my channel to show your support. 
and join me in the next video where we are going to create all these virtual machines and you can skip that if you already know how to do that or if you have already done that.